someone new who's just going to get started on uh, procreate and what i'm going to do is go to go there go on the tools and it says canvas add so insert take a photo add tags okay insert the photo hang on I keep putting okay right let's say this photo is the one that we want to make so what you have on this is layers so you've got the background that's your background then you've got the layer one is that one just there that one can be deleted because we, we use that on as the layer and then you can add another layer so anything you do on this layer will not affect anything on this one let me just get a black color pen okay and the brushes you've got all different types of brushes here I think you don't get all of these because uh, drawing let's try drawing and you will probably have to download them and you can import them into procreate yeah, there's a lot of sites if you just type you know procreate uh, brushes and you will get as you can see some of these brushes have different different effects like as you can see there it was a bit thicker and then we got the thinner lines coming around it and if you want to make the lines thicker this is the one that you use for the size so now if I do that you'll get a thicker line a bit too thick and if you want to clean if you don't want this and you think you made a mistake you can always take a rubber and clean out the bit that you don't like so got that bit there let's see that that's a bit too thick now so let's go down again and see if I can undo this uh, I can't really let's undo undo oh uh, how do i do undo i've already forgotten right okay brilliant well this i've used this long time ago like eight months ago something like that i'm sure shortcut keyboards to undo is okay three fingers undo transaction there you go it's two fingers basically you push your two fingers on the screen and you can undo right okay and then right so this has gone a bit light now why is that have i changed the pen or something no same okay here we go am i on the same layer yeah make sure you're on the layer that you're doing sometimes what will happen when you're undoing you might be going back into the other layer so here we go yep that's fine and let's do it that way it's not going to be exact but you know you're getting somewhere but it's looking something like that okay that goes from around here and so we go down there you know what, what the good thing about this is you can always take a rubber and just take out the bits that you don't want or you know two fingers on the screen will take it out uh, back to the mistake you made so if we put that just there and do that there and then we've got a little piece that's coming out in there that's a I think it's a good way of someone who's just you know trying to get into drawing because by no means that I'm an artist or anything but you know I like to draw if I can that is right but this is an easier way than you know pencil and paper and it feels exactly like pencil and paper and the other thing is you can do is you can 
transform it as well. So if you do like a free Ipsy, what did I do there? Keep pushing buttons. All right. If I do that and then we go down and up, you can make the sizes different as well. So, you know, it's looking a bit thicker, thinner there. There you go. And you can, you know, if you want a uniform, that'll go uniform. Everything will be the same. If you want it distorted so you can have it, you know, warped. So this one you can basically change bits in there that you might want to just change like from the squares where the squares are you can change just that piece okay and you got these little points as well so you know you can move them where you want flip it flip it over okay let's get that back and just let's carry on with the rest so let's get that one there I think it's better starting off with something that's easy to draw. Obviously, you're not going to be perfect, you know, and you're not going to get the picture exact, but it doesn't matter as long as, you know, you're getting there somewhere that's similar to that. Let's do that there. And we've got these little... The thing with this is Procreate is you can go really in and do little details like these little little uh, you know round balls on this and then you can come back out and that's really nice about it well on paper you can't get in there can you yes you're in just one yeah. I'm going to see if I can try to draw something, you know, every day to get a bit better at this and see if it, we can pick up the drawing skills. Right, let's go there. That one's there, so, so there we go, and let's put that just there like that. It's not the same, but okay, and got this one coming around like that. So it's not a neat picture at the moment, but you know. Just keep at it and see what, what you get out of it. So that one's down there and I'm going to just do it up here. So it's going like that. I think I should have chosen a different pen. Just get that bit there so it looks like it's behind it. And then another piece there. Like that, yep. Okay. So once you got it up to there, what you could do is you can untick the the other one and then go back onto that one and then you can move that in the center by zooming in and if you want you can start even coloring them in uh, I'm, let me just get a couple more of those in there like that yeah something like that yeah so if you want to start coloring them in like the greens and all that you can pick up all your colors from here and if you want to fill in, I would use a different filling pen if you want to fill in. Okay, well, let me see if I can get, there's tons of uh, pens that you can, there's pencils. Uh, okay, let's, let's try that one. Let's, yeah, that one there. Let's see what we get out of that. And we'll do the leaves. That's a bit too small. Right, the other thing, yeah, there you go. Okay, what I will do is undo that. There, another one. And what I will do is put a new layer underneath and start coloring that. And that way, you're not going to be doing nothing to the 
picture itself. So even if I go over it like that, you know that you're not doing nothing to your outlines. So if I get now a different color for the stem, okay, that's a bit too much. Yeah, but what we can do is we can always come back. Or what I think is better to, do, I think to do all the items on a separate layer. So what we'll do is make another one now. And we'll do the stem. That way, when we come back, we can easily. Uh, delete the bits or with the rubber we can take them off and let's go for a lighter color than that and then make another layer for the these bits here right and if you want it a bit lighter then you've got this uh, uh, dial here that you can go up and down so you can have the percentage that you want basically it's like basically coloring in so as you can see now it looks like that i'm over done it but hang on let me just put another layer so i just want to color in uh, the center bit let's make it purple yeah so where we want flower okay so basically we've got something there at the moment yeah uh, what we can do now is you take your rubber and you can go all the way around you know you're not destroying nothing underneath and any place where you've gone over so you get like a little nice clean cut now if you go to the other one that one and if we see some bits where we don't want stuff and uh, we can just take it off that way well, I know there's different different ways of doing this, but this is the way I think I I found is easy for me. So now if we go here, we can now if we go to the stem one. As you can see, is a bit of a mess there, and there you go, and it gets cleaner. Am I on the right? Yeah, I'm on the right one. So then now if you can start doing your shading and all that kind of stuff. So if I want to go on the flower one and then we put another layer on top of that and then we get a darker color. I think best thing is if we get the same color first and then we just come down to a darker color and then you start doing the insides. So obviously on the inside you're going to have it darker and on the side there that's a bit too much okay so we do that like that and then the insides there you go and we can put a little like a shade on that as well so basically you know you could draw what you wanted in there and Thing is i haven't done this for a very long time so let me see if i can find yeah this is the one i think it's a freehand no yeah a freehand one so what we could do on this now is let's get the picture say this stem is not what you wanted oopsie yeah. so this stem is not where you wanted it you could go all the way around it like that even around the flower make it cut like that if it's on the same layer that is and I don't think so so we put it on that one and then we come back here and then we can just pick okay whatever layer you're on basically you can pick that layer and move it so as we were on the other layer 
where our pencil layer is up here so or you could leave that at the end and then basically and then uh, change little bits and bobs let me just see if I can get another layer in there and uh, I'll put another layer these layers are transparent by the way and right I want to get a different kind of brush so that I can uh, yeah, let's do that here we go so you got these little spots on there and there you go so it looks a little bit better right this is the one that i've done basically uh, like a long time ago so what's good in procreate is that you whatever you've done you can play it back basically so i'm just gonna like a time slap uh, replay so this one i'm just gonna put this on uh, the replay and see if, how i started off with this one and as you can see it also tells you the timing basically how long it took uh, you to do the picture yeah i started doing it with the thin line pencil and trying to get the shapes exact obviously they're not going to be exact but uh if you're an artist then obviously you you're going to get them as they are but I'll try to do my best anyway so this is what i came up with and i thought i'd do start off with the other one like the flower stem that we were just doing before and i thought i'd just put this on the one i'd done a long time ago as a replay at the end so i'll see if i can put a some music at the bottom as well so let's see what happens i might have music or i might not have music is this the first one i'm doing so let's see what happens and there you go and now i'm trying to do the shading yeah there you go and smudging with the smudging i find with the smudging it makes it look a little bit better i don't know uh, because that's how i feel here i'm neatening it up again now so getting the lines perfect and there we go and then putting the colors in now in a different way so i tried it both ways oopsie and found filling in the colors makes it look like a bit more cartoonish and all that so this one now is looking nearly well not nearly because obviously you can see the surrounded there and my one is basically pointing in that corner well i suppose you can have it any way you want in it at the end of the day and well it makes it look good and i just put a shadow underneath it to make it look like a 3d okay guys that was uh, today's video I hope you enjoyed it.